we'll continue with the changes that have taken place during zygote so instead of drawing the whole stage we will just see those changes in zygote stage the pairing takes place pairing of chromosomes so we show these chromosomes like this this is the homologous pair and this pairing is known as a synapsis and this pair which is formed is known as a dyad or a bivalent so this is a dyad or also known as a bivalent and now when we say that these chromatids the arms they undergo vertical splitting what we saw was each chromatid undergoes splitting to form these two arms and this is the stage which is known as the tetrad stage and the name is given because of these arms synaptonemal complex is already formed so that this structure can be kept together or held together now if we have to name these two arms of one chromosome then they are called sister chromatids that means the arms of one chromosome they are called sister chromatids so these two are sister chromatids if you are talking of these two they would be sister chromatids these two would be sister chromatids and these two would also be sister chromatids but if we talk of this arm and this arm then they are known as non sister chromatids non sister chromatids so arms of one chromosome are called sister chromatids and if we are comparing the arms of the homologous chromosomes then they are called non sister chromatids crossing over always takes place between non sister chromatids crossing over takes place between non sister chromatids this is very important so arms of one chromatid if we are talking of the same thing if these chromatids they split so these two would be sister chromatids these two would be sister chromatids but if we are talking of one of this and one of this like these two then they become non sister chromatids so these are the ones between which crossing over would take place now in case of division there is no clear cut demarcation and that is why in different books we start seeing some variations for example we see in many books that during zygote the two chromatids non sister chromatids they start to cross over whereas in some books it is written that crossing over takes place in the next stage that is pekite now there is a slight difference and the difference is how we uh, understand this suppose these are the two non sister chromatids these two suppose we are talking of these two non sister and they are going to undergo crossing over so if they show crossing over and i am showing it like this what is visible to you is x like structure that this cross which is visible but if i change the position like this these two arms have not fused yet but what is visible to us is a cross between these non sister chromatids so from a distance or from the front because we see diagrams what is visible to us is a cross and we start saying that crossing over has taken place but if you see it from a different angle these two arms have not touched each other yet so what we say is in zygote crossing over starts that means these two non sister chromatids are coming closer to each other and we start seeing the x shaped structure but they have not fused yet there is still a gap between the two when they fuse that is the time exchange of genetic material would take place and we would say crossing over is complete Dif difference visible is x but if we change the angle you don't see these two arms fused so we say crossing over has begun but 
when they fuse actually enzyme has started working there and the exchange of genetic material takes place then we say that crossing over has taken place exchange of genetic material has taken place so when we read in some books as i said if this crossing over begins in zygote what they are talking about is the two non sister chromatids have come closer and you start seeing the x shaped structure which is the crossover structure so in pecaitin that is the next stage these two arms are going to fuse enzyme will start acting there and this fused structure which is formed now will be called chiasmata so we are uh, again taking the stages next stage and then we will see how the uh, transition takes place so now we are drawing the next stage after zygote and that is pecaitin so after zygote pecaitin say so these are some stages which we have just uh, redrawn so now nuclear membrane intact still has not started dissociating it is as it is the centriole is still at the same position there is no change but now inside this we would start seeing that cross so how do we show that cross let us transfer this pair here and this chromosome has its two sister chromatids and this chromosome also has its sister chromatids are we able to see a cross so we would say that crossing over has begun in case of zygote but if in pecaitin this crossed over non sister chromatid they fuse then we say chiasma formation has taken place so this is known as the chiasma or sometimes it is also written as chiasmata so here what is happening is in zygote we said crossing over takes place between this and here we would say crossing over begins and in this case chiasma formation takes place so here chiasma or which is also known as chiasmata formation takes place and chiasmata means the two non sister chromatids have fused and there is an enzyme which is required for this so which chiasma formation takes place which is an enzymatic process with the help of this enzyme this reaction is going to take place or this process is going to take place the enzyme is recombinase that means with the help of this enzyme the two non sister chromatids have fused and now exchange of genetic material takes place so here exchange of genetic material has taken place so what is the sequence in zygote first the homologous chromosomes they pair we call them bivalent or a dyad each chromatid undergoes a vertical splitting we start seeing two arms we call the two arms of one chromosome as sister chromatids the arms of different chromosomes of the same homologous pair are called non sister chromatids and by the end of zygote in itself crossing over begins that means you start seeing that x shaped structure in pecaitin when it enters into the next stage that is pecaitin the crossing over gets completed that means now the two arms are going to fuse with the help of enzyme called recombinase and exchange of genetic material takes place that is the purpose of prophase 1 because prophase 1 is a part of meiosis meiosis is a reductional division and because of this crossing over there is exchange of genetic material and that is going to result into variations so what has happened in pecaitin is crossing over is completed chiasmata formation is done 
and exchange of genetic material has taken place. And just to show a slightly different pattern, we can make one chromosome completely dark colored and other one can be shown as empty chromosome. So that when we show the exchanged genetic material that would be clear. This is just one pair. We started with two. So we will draw one more here and we can show crossing over taking place in this arm also. Crossing over can take place at any stage, that means between the non-sister chromatids here, between these two here, but normally there are only one or two places where crossing over takes place. So here also you are seeing a uh, uh, chiasma or chiasmata, here also we see. So normally we see this chiasma formation at one or at the most two places, but it can take place at four places. So this is what has happened in Pekaiti. Now, what should happen next? Exchange of genetic material has taken place. So, is there a need for these two chromosomes to stay together now? They were together so that this crossing over could take place. Now that crossing over is complete. So, there is no need for these chromosomes to stay together. What was that structure which was holding them together? Was synaptonemal complex. So now, by the end of this, the synaptonemal complex will start to dissociate. The complex was holding these chromosomes together like this. So now crossing over is there, the chromosomes are still together. If synaptonemal complex breaks, the chromosomes will start moving away from each other. They would still remain attached at the crossed over part. So now, by the next stage, we would start seeing synaptonemal complex is going to break. So in the next stage, that is in diplotene, we would start seeing what exactly happens. 